They fake on first down. And had a career high in the South Carolina three-point loss. Play fake again on second down. This time complete goes right back to J.J. Wharton. Who didn't go high, didn't lead with that helmet to helmet. Unfortunately for J.J. Wharton, ended up hitting him there. Storm Johnson, first carry for the junior run next. UCF driving on the opening possession for the Knights. Tips and incomplete. There's the but a good adjustment by Louisville defensively. You see number 94, Malden, right in your screen. Realize good friends, the defensive ends. <laughs> yeah. Bortles rolls. Finds Storm Johnson, who has room to run. Big block on the outside to send Storm Johnson inside. It's going to be a physical ball game tonight. The first and only American Athletic Conference matchup between Central Florida and Louisville. Johnson, nothing. Opening drive into the red zone for Central Florida. Storm Johnson tripped up. On third and eight to the end zone. It is tipped and intercepted. It's Calvin. Carter Blacker and Danny Cannell, Allison Williams for your Friday night matchup. UCF, Central Florida against the undefeated Louisville Cardinals. Blake Bortles handing off to the quarterback matchup, though. The home team has won the last six meetings, and yet Florida State on the road favored against the Tigers. Bortles looking for his screen, comes back the other way. That's complete to Josh Reese. Bortles, pressure. A three and out. Give credit to George O'Leary for taking the yep. timeout so that the Replay official had an extra look at it, decided to take it under review, and UCF gets a football. They know it's called as questionable. They get up there because if you run a play, they can't go back and review it. 13th takeaway of the year by the UCF defense. Blake Bortles and the Knight offense with the seconds ticking away in the first quarter. That's good. Sneak. Really close. Up in the gaps. And they've, they just shut it down right there. I'm surprised UCF didn't have there specifically to try to draw them off sides. So the fourth and one hard count works for Central Florida. This is Storm Johnson. Soccer games. One of their always is a winner and a loser. On second and nine, complete. That's Storm Johnson out of the backfield. Still had to go to fourth down. Storm Johnson has the first down this time in the Louisville team. From Loganville, Georgia, who was a huge recruit. And the University of Miami got. Play fake on first and ten. Bortles pressured, throws, incomplete. Knocked away. Stand back, the true freshman. Pressure. Incomplete. Check down. Storm Johnson shakes his way for a first down and more. Tripped up inside the goal for Central Florida. Stand back, touchdown. He had more interceptions than touchdowns. The 2011 Belk Bowl. Less than a minute to go. Blake Bortles completing to Justin. Up there, they had uh, South Carolina up 10 nothing at halftime. Lost that game by three against a very good team in South Carolina.
First and ten handoff to Storm. Got their moments when they've executed nicely. They've been able to move the ball and they've made a couple key mistakes. Heavy pressure on second and seven. Storm Johnson runs through. Seems undefeated. Coincidence? So. First and ten for Blake Bortles and UCF. Johnson trying to run away from that hounding. He'd be good. I didn't know he'd be this good. Breaking records and North Florida State. Bortles throwing on second down. That's complete. Perriman. Marcus Mariota up at the top because of the performance he had against Washington. There's a reason behind my madness, Carter. It is madness. Blake Bortles heaving on third and three. That's caught. Switch removal here in the third. Central Florida trying to get back in it. Bortles hands off to Storm Johnson. Good block on the outside. Johnson cuts it back inside the 10. Only one touchdown in the three red zone trips for UCF. Bortles complete. Jeff Godfrey. Storm Johnson. Touchdown, UCF. Crowd noise. Bortles pulls it. Throws complete. That's when El Hall, who left the last. We have both of the last touchdowns for UCF on a run and a screen pass. So it's Stanback, the true freshman, seeking outside. William Stanback knocked out of it. First and 10 from the Louisville 12. Stanback again, picking his way inside the five. Touchdown, Central Florida. To be behind in a game this season, the Knights now the first and ten with a chance to take the lead on eighth-ranked undefeated Louisville. Storm Johnson, back. Central Florida, Houston, or anybody else could rise up. They could be going to a BCS bowl game. Storm Johnson again pushing to the Louisville crowds trying to get up. They're trying to make it a challenge for UCF. Cardinals blitz on first down. Bortles throws complete to the outside. That in the end zone. Johnson right through the Louisville D. Rolling to the... Good job by the offensive line up front. Storm Johnson makes one guy miss. That was number 91. Marcus Smith juked him. Yeah, two TDs in a minute 10. Stand back at tailback. Tackled by Preston. Stand back. Fifth red zone trip for UCF. They're three out of four getting touchdowns inside the Louisville 20. Stand back drop. Storm Johnson again. Play for a national championship. Bortles, pressure. Blake Bortles dumps it after by all the noise and hostility around him. Storm Johnson, nothing. Bortles finds Toots. Bortles throws complete. It's the tight end Toots again. Louisville will be in the ACC. Bortles on second and five complete. 
That's Josh Reese still rolling. To Josh Reese. Clock rolling again. Bortles slam caught Godfrey. Less than a minute to go. Bortles incomplete. Here's Storm Johnson. Drop. Bortles rolling. To the end zone. Caught. Touchdown, UCF. UCF goes with a little sprint option pass. You see Godfrey, number two, just slips behind the defense. Everybody was thinking, up, oh, we're going to come up and attack the flat. Godfrey, the former quarterback, gets behind the defense. Well, you can see his own receiver, Ronell Hall, almost jumped up for that. But what